welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Linda. My channel is about lifestyle, wellness, and teaching English online. So if that's what you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. Through this channel, I really want to help people live a happy and fulfilling life. Okay, so we are almost at the end of 2020. Good riddance. We're gonna be heading into 2021 and there are 10 great habits that I want to share with you as we step into the new year. Let's see what they are. All right, the very first uh, habit that I want to mention is reducing your use of social media. Yes, the majority of us have an addiction to social media. We're always scrolling through Facebook, scrolling through Instagram, and you're sitting down on the couch before you know it, three hours have passed and that's all you have been doing. Do yourself a favor, put the phone down. Do something else for those three hours. You can clean your house, you can go take a walk, you can go go to the mall, anything is more productive than sitting there and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. This is a great habit that you can adopt. Dedicate an hour, just put your phone aside and tell yourself, I am not going to touch my phone for one hour. And take that hour to do something, actually, do something that is productive and you can keep busy. Just dedicate that time to yourself, you know, once a day. And once you get into that routine, it will become a habit. That's all it is. So try it out. I think this is a great habit to adopt. And I think it's one of the first ones you can try in 2021. So the second one that I want to mention is having a daily routine. So make yourself just a rough idea of what you're going to do each day. So maybe you'll wake up at 7.30 each day, you'll drink coffee, um, you'll do a bit of exercise, and then you'll go to work. That could be your routine. Just set yourself a pace that you can follow each day. It'll calm you down and you won't be constantly wondering, hmm, what should I do now? Um, you know, and, and things, things are being thrown at you and you're like, oh, should I do this first or this? And what should I do? And then you start feeling stressed out. If you have a rough daily routine that you can follow each day, it'll give you a sense of relaxation and calm where you're going about your day and you know, okay, after work, I'm just gonna head to the gym and do one hour of working out, head home and uh, have dinner. So of course you can, you can make changes in your routine, but if you have a rough routine that you follow each day, I think you'll feel much better about your day and you can go about it in a more relaxed and stress-free manner. All right, the third habit that you can adopt is create a regular sleep schedule. So many of us have an irregular sleep schedule. We'll sleep at midnight one day. We'll sleep at 2 a.m. one day. We'll sleep in and we'll wake up at noon. We'll you know, have to get up early for something and we'll get up at seven. That really throws your body off. If you have a regular sleep schedule and stick to it as much as you can, I think your body will feel much better about it. So there are a lot of websites out there. I'll mention one website, it's startsleeping.org. So if you put in your age, put in the time that you wanna wake up, it'll tell you what time you should go to bed based on optimal sleep cycles. So try it out. I think I've tried it a few times, but I don't think I've tried it enough to know if it's effective or not. But I think it's a start. At least you can start sleeping at a good time and waking up and getting seven hours of sleep. That is the recommended time frame for adults to get seven hours of sleep. So I wake up at about 6.30 every day and then I will go to bed and try to be asleep by 10.30. Um, of course, things will throw it off sometimes. I'll wake up a little later um, or I'll go to bed later, but that I really try to stick to that schedule. Um, and I find my body has actually accustomed to it. So sometimes even before the alarm rings, I will be up and it'll be just almost 6.30. So my body's already used to it. So I think that's a great habit that you can adopt in 2021 for your body. The next one, give yourself more me time, yes. You know, your life is always about other people. You're always worried about your kids, you know, your uh, family, coworkers, everything else around you but yourself. It's so important to give yourself that me time. So do whatever you want during that time. Dedicate an hour of the day, even maybe 10 minutes is good. And do something that you want to do uninterrupted. It's only you and yourself. Read a book. Maybe do, do your scrolling through that time, go through Facebook and check some updates, but just dedicate that amount of time 
to yourself. And I think you'll feel much better. You'll feel, you know, a sense of peacefulness. You'll be able to process what's happened during the day all by yourself and get that out of the way. And then once you're done your me time, I think you'll feel really refreshed. You'll definitely feel recharged and it'll be easier to go through the rest of the day. So next one up, create some goals. It can be short term, it can be long term, it could be really easy goals, it could be harder goals. Just set some goals for 2021. You can start off easy. I'll try to eat at home three times a week at least and not eat outside food. So that's a start, that's a goal. I think if you create the small goals and just go from there, you'll feel much better about it. It'll be easier to achieve. And every time you achieve a goal, you'll feel better and more motivated to keep going. And it's only for the benefit of yourself, right? If you achieve these goals, you're making progress. You're becoming more healthy, you know, you're becoming more fit, you're doing things, you're being productive. So for sure, create some goals, write down the goals and just check them off as you go. Just check in every week, every day, every month and see how you're doing with the goals. I think it really helps sustain momentum in life. As you're going, you know, you achieve one goal this week and you're like, yes, you know, I did it. I set out to do this and I did it. And it's very satisfying and it just motivates you more to get to the next goal and the next goal and the next goal, right? And since we're stepping into a new year, I think it's a great time to set up these goals. It could be your new year's resolutions. See how far you get with them and really put in the effort to achieve these goals. Next one, very important, create an exercise routine and stick to it no matter what. So yes, create a routine. So maybe jogging for 30 minutes each day. If that's too much for you, start with a simpler goal. Do jogging three times a week and work from there. Create achievable goals. Don't achieve goals that are too hard or unreasonable. That way you're gonna fail and you're not gonna feel good about it and you're never gonna set another goal again. If you set your exercise routine, stick to it. Don't make excuses for yourself. Don't think, oh, I'm so tired today. I'll just skip today. It just kind of goes from there. You'll just skip the next day and the next day and then you'll never get back into the rhythm. Don't make excuses like, it's too cold outside. It's snowing, it's raining. Oh, you know, there's not enough time. I have to meet my friend. Just don't do those excuses. Just go and do it. And before you know it, it'll become part of your routine and it'll be easier to do each day because you know every afternoon I am going to have that 30 minute run and that's it. I have to do it because that's what I do all the time. So as soon as you make it part of your routine and you stick to it and don't waver, I think that it'll become a very great habit for you just to have that regular exercise routine. Next one, organize your life. So there's so many aspects of our life that need organizing. It could be our finances. It could be our you know daily routine. It could be our house. There's just so many things that you can organize and work on in your life. Make that a goal in 2021. You can start with maybe organizing your finances. Set up that RRSP if you haven't, you know, clean up digital clutter, clean up your home. Just pick one room a day and just declutter it and fix up that room and then go on to the next room. Just do some organizing. When you're in a clean environment, I think it feels so much less stressful. It's so peaceful. If you see things lying all around, your clothes are in a pile on the chair, there's dust all around, you're not gonna feel nice living in an environment like that. Make sure your environment is clean, organized, decluttered, and you'll feel much better. You'll feel a sense of calmness and peacefulness just being surrounded by you know, a lovely, beautiful, clean environment. So do that organizing. Uh, it's a great time again in 2021. Do some spring cleaning, start early, and uh, I think you'll feel a lot better about it. So the next one, do some stretching. So that's kind of related to the exercise bit. Do at least 15 minutes a day. Sometimes I find if you know my body's aching a little bit and I do 15 minutes of stretching or maybe a short 15 minute yoga um, video, I will feel so good afterwards. My bones, my muscles, you know, ligaments, they all feel a lot more loose. Um, so do that 15 minutes of stretching each day. I think it's even easier now to do it at home because we're always at home. Um, if you're working from home, you know, have that 10 minute break, get on your mat and do that stretching. After you do that stretching and you get back to work, you'll feel a lot more energized. You'll feel much better that you took that break. So try to incorporate that into your daily routine each day in 2021. The next one, 
Drink more water. I think this is so important. And we all know how important water is to our bodies. It can make your skin nicer. It can help with digestion. And actually, in particular, I do recommend drinking hot water. Um, I actually drink hot water every single day. Now, there are studies. I don't know how true they are, but they say it helps with weight loss. Um, it's better than cold water. Um, so I just like the feeling of drinking hot water now, especially since it's winter. So I drink hot water every single day and I'll drink it throughout the day. When you feel thirsty, you're actually dehydrated already. So don't let it get to that point. Just keep sipping water throughout the day. Have two, three bottles beside you while you're working or um, you know while you're watching TV. Just have that water beside you and you'll be more likely to drink it rather than running to the kitchen. Just have a bottle of water nearby and you'll be drinking more water. And the very last tip I have for you today, I think it is just as important as all the other um, habits that I've suggested is to do a data dump. So our mind is full of stuff, full of garbage, full of thoughts, full of things that just make our mind so stressed out and we can't relax. So do a data dump. It can be in many forms. You can start a bullet journal. You can write a diary. You can write it out in an email and delete it afterwards. You can talk to somebody, talk to a therapist or a friend. There are so many ways to do it, but you need to do that data dump. Don't keep it all inside of your head because the more things you have in there, you're just storing more and more and more and more and not letting things out. So what happens? You feel stressed out. So do yourself that favor and do that data dump in any way that works for you. All right, that's all the habits that I have for you. 10 great habits that you can adopt in 2021. If it works for you, then that's great. If it doesn't, well, there's no harm either. So I hope this video helps you out. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for similar videos in the future. Lots more to come your way and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, bye.